Big Thaddy. I shouldn't use that. That's a really bad nickname. Are we having fun yet? Mr. Thad Young, my boy, you went off this game. Now, some people will look at these stats and say, oh, that's not that big a deal. But if you, that, that just means you didn't watch the game. Look, all right, so he had 10 points, two steals, three assists, eight rebounds. Now, what I found the most important with his game last game, and this isn't going to show in the in the statistics, but he had a lot of pass to assists. He had a lot of um, passing to the open guys. He was making a lot of good reads out there as a center. We were playing him as center, um, but he was doing a phenomenal job, man. The two steals really should have been four steals. Uh, he got called on a on a foul on, on one of them, and then the other one, I, I don't know what happened there, but that young did phenomenal last night and if he can keep this up we're going to be in a really good spot now this is what i want to see from thad young everything was virtually perfect everything that popovich wanted him to do his role with the team coming in to give you know drew eubanks a break and basically kind of taking his minutes um everything was great but one thing i would like to see and this has nothing to do with him i would just like to see the big man take a few more threes that young people kind of forget this he is a career 33% three-point shooter. Now, I think people think about the last season, which he shot 26%, but he only put up 0.7, so he didn't really shoot. And the year before that, it was all dependent on his role. He put up 3.5 attempts, and he hit 30, almost 36%. So he can shoot threes, and it'll be really nice if we can kind of slowly but surely put him in that role as well. It only gives us more depth, but overall that you did your thing man and even hustling he, he there's a reason he's the nba he got the nba hustle award in 2020 2021 there's a reason he's in the same likes of montrez hero marcus smart amir johnson and patrick beverly when it comes to hustle and the reason being is because this guy puts up crazy amount of effort and he fits with our team so well because of it but man i just have to say i am loving what i'm seeing from thad and if he can just keep this up, I would just hate for the Spurs to trade him. Now, I'm, I'm for the Spurs doing whatever they feel necessary because I do trust the franchise at this point. There's no point really not to trust them. They haven't really given me a reason not to trust them. But I, I will say this. Um, if they do elect to keep that young on this roster, he fits with every single player on this roster. DJ, White, Keldon, every single player on this roster right now puts up the utmost effort. And I think that's part of why Luca is he's gone because they want to keep this culture of creating um, uh, just just giving the utmost effort. So, but that's all I really had to say, man. I just wanted to swing this past you guys if you're you know not aware that that young might have just played himself into some significant minutes. Um, but just wanted to bring it up to you guys. I'll get with you later. Until next time. I don't know. Is is Big Daddy too? I don't know. I I don't know. I'm gonna think on it. I think it's a bad nickname. I don't know.